What do you like to make with your hands? Painting, sewing, building, gardening. There are so many ways to be an artist. Join hands with Lois Ehlert in this moving and inspiring celebration of the creative spirit within us all. I'll be reading Hands by Lois Ehlert, Growing Up to Be an Artist. Isn't this beautiful? Set up like a palette. The whole book is really interesting because it has images collaged into the pictures of pencils and brushes and paper and scissors. Screwdrivers. This is supposed to be a little box of screwdrivers. It's a picture of it. And when you open it up, it says, Hands, Growing Up to Be an Artist by Lois Ehlert. And you can see all the screwdrivers. You close the box and turn the page. This book is dedicated to my mother and father. My father always works with his hands. He builds things in his workshop. And you can see here, it's a wooden birdhouse. And look, there's a pencil and a measuring um, ruler. You turn the page. There's the back of the house. He measures with his ruler, marking the wood with a pencil. Then he measures again, just to be sure. He's picky. When I help, I try to do things like he does. He's showing me how to paint, pound nails straight, and saw wood. And here you can see paintbrush, hammer, pliers, and a pencil with paint speckles on it. And look at this looks like a piece of his clothing with speckle or spots of paint. My mother makes things too. This looks like a quilt. And a doily with lots of colors behind it. She has lots of colorful cloth, ribbons, lace, buttons, and thread. And here are some of the things that, that she just wrote about. Oh, a butterfly. I watch her pin patterns to cloth, cutting carefully along the edges with her scissors. And you can see this is part of a pattern to make some clothing. Here are scissors, large, medium, and small. Oh, and that's the flip side. She has many scissors, big, heavy ones, and pointy, little ones that fit in my hand. She's teaching me to sew. Oh, it looks like a cat toy because it's a tiny little mouse. Together we make cat toys. Nicely done. Ooh, I like this. This is like a junk drawer with all these fantastic little objects in them. Stickers and bottle caps and little um, pins and fabric. Today, Dad put up a folding table near Mom's sewing machine. It's for me. Now I have my own spot. I've got lots of good scraps from Mom and Dad, and there are so many things I want to make. It looks like she has a hole puncher and some stamps with letters, paper. I just finished this pot holder for our kitchen. And here it is. It looks like a bowl or a vase of flowers. Because when you flip it this way, you can see some of the petals. And this is the back side. I wish I could stay here forever. But I hear Dad and Mom calling me. They need extra hands in the garden. Every year, I help plant vegetable seeds. This is really nice. Look at it. It's supposed to be a pack of tomato seeds. It says Heartland's Seed Company, Early Red Tomatoes. And you flip it, and on the other side, 
looks like a pack of flower seeds called zinnias, son of Mexico zinnia. And this is a gardening glove. Mom grows flowers. She likes the bright ones. So do I. And then when we flip it, I'm good at weeding. Dad says I have sharp eyes, that I see things that other people miss. Fantastic. And look, this is a palette in a watercolor set. You can see she's been mixing colors. And when you flip it up, you can see a different side of the palette. When our flowers bloom, I'm going to paint a picture of them. I'll use every color in my paint box. Nice. Oh, and here is the paint box. She's going to use every color. Until then, I'll be working at my table because I know when I grow up, I want to be an artist. Here's a handprint. Must be her handprint. Then I'll join hands. Here's a bigger hand. With my mom and dad. So this must be dad's glove, mom's glove. Very nice. The end. A note from the author. I grew up in a house where everyone was making something with their hands. As far back as I can remember, I was always putting things together, cutting, stitching, pasting, or pounding. My mother, a good seamstress, shared her fabric scraps with me, and when I was eight, taught me how to use her sewing machine. My dad, had a basement workshop from which he supplied me with lots of scraps of lumber and nails. So I always had a ready supply of art supplies, but not necessarily traditional ones like paper and paint. I worked on a folding table. My mom and dad let me leave my projects spread out there as long as I wanted so I could continue working in my free time and not worry about picking up. I'm still messy when I work. When ideas are coming, I don't clean my studio every day. I keep working. I know there will be days when I have no ideas and then I will have plenty of time to clean up and empty my overflowing waste basket. I'm sorry, waste basket. My folding table was my own spot. I hope you too will find a spot of your own. Creativity is within all of us. We just need time and a place to nurture it. Lois Ehlert.